Hello everyone, and welcome to the world of diving! Uni 5 update. This has been a long time coming. We've been working on this since December 2014. And we just got an update. Oh, late last month. Finally. The last big update we had was in October of last year. What they did, I mean, for all of 2014, this, this game has been in Unity 4 engine, and it's now totally upgraded to Unity 5. The only issue is, basically, it just shot it back to beta, beta testing again, because it's caused a lot of issues in doing so. And now, they gotta, now we have to go back through the whole thing again of finding all the bugs and fixing them. And that's pretty much what I did f for the devs throughout 2014 is uh, find the bugs, post them up on their official website. Each area having their own thread, their own uh, topic area, uh, full of pictures. And, and I always like that. I, you know, when they put out a new area, I just go thoroughly through it and find everything I can and po put up photos for them. And they love that because I'm now on their bug list. And as you'll see in a minute, I'm one of the voting topics Yoda's bug list. Get it fixed. Uh, you can rotate your character now. And, well, that was part of the original game. You could rotate. You notice I have an R2-D2 air tank. I've always had that. Uh, one of the bugs right now is you can't go into the... You can, this is as far as you can go into the customization screen right now. You can't access anything. Which is a shame because they said they had like five new gloves. And I like to see them. You can't access the... Oh, you can't go into buddies now. Hey, hey, hey. Turn him off. No, I want him off. Darn it. Go back. Oh, let's just go to none. Hopefully that'll get rid of him. There's a <laughs> right now that you cannot turn your buddies off when you're in the level, so it just get really freaking annoying. Uh, there's the anglefish we got. He needs to be incorporated into the Bismarck level without that little pumpkin on his light. Can you go into gear now? Hey, hey! We must have just had an update, because I wasn't able to do this just a little while ago. Let's see if they got the gloves. Uh, got a bunch of new... T the tanks are still the same. Yeah. What about masks? Nothing new in there, but I can click on my Halloween my mask here. It doesn't give me the option to color it, though, which is odd. Nothing new in suits, although there's my ho everybody's Halloween outfit. Let's go to peripherals. Yes, excellent. What's this look like? Mechanical glove? Eh, ugly. Here we got button. Now, they said these were free. Now, here they're saying they're not. Say they lied. They told a fib. I don't care. These are free, though. But I don't like any of them. They just don't look good. That's the only one I like the most, because you can change the color on it, see it? Two different colors. Normally, if you click on then you get those. That's supposed to be part of your mask ability, too, but they don't have anything for the mask coloring at the moment. Let's go out. And go in here, and here's your different levels. As I've showed in my two-part world tour of the locations which you can see in my playlist under miscellaneous, well, gameplay videos. The new one is the Okavango Delta in the Nile area. And that's where we'll go first. And go. There's my field of bug list. As you see, everybody's choosing that because we want all the bugs fixed. And there are a lot of bugs. Ah, good. I can actually enjoy this level without my freaking buddy flying around. Oops, I forgot to turn on my uh, controller. <laughs> Excuse me. As Cleavon Little would say, Excuse me while I whip this out. If you've not seen Blazing Saddles, see it now. The Okavango Delta is very cool. Go up to the surface here, and there's our airboat. See, it's the Katharina. Gives you the stats on it for some strange reason. Why would they put that on the fan? <laughs> yeah, 
fast. Let's tell everybody how fast it is and how much horsepower. The whole place is really beautifully done. It's. I thought the Bismarck level was the biggest in the game so far, but it's not. It's the deepest. This is the biggest in length. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes, and there's... The only problem with that is it's too big. And there's so much dead space. There's not enough fish, and there's too much... There's not enough to do, really. Um, I was noticing something over here earlier when I was in. You notice this mud texture here? That's wrong for this. That's actually dry mud. That's something you would see on the lake bed, on a river bed, or in a dried up lake bed. You, know, this, you would not see that underwater because that's indication of dried up water areas. <laughs> so, ah, oh, we got the tiger fish. I didn't know they were right here. I like these. These guys are, they did a great job on their design, the look of them. Although they shouldn't be smiling. <laughs> it looks like they are. Uh, but their basic design is really beautifully done. Still way too robotic. Uh, that'll, that'll be fixed eventually. All the fish in this game are very robotic. And here we got a pearl. Can I open it? No, I cannot. That's a shame. But if you see an oyster that shines, you know get a pearl. You can actually see it right there. Hopefully we'll have the knife in the very near future that we can pop these suckers open and get them. I think a pearl gives you a hundred doubloons or coins, which you can use to buy stuff in the customization screen I showed you to outfit your character. Customizing your character doesn't do anything special. It just makes your character look better. Oh, I haven't opened him yet, but there's nothing in him. Yeah, there's a bug with uh, your use key. Uh, if you didn't hear me, I was using I'm using my Xbox controller for Windows. The use key, which is the A button, when you push it, it pops up the chat menu for some strange reason. And it shouldn't do that. It's, it should not be associated with that button. Or whatever button it is on the keyboard, too. I don't really use the keyboard much in this game. I prefer the controller. It's easier to move around. This is very cool looking. I don't think I've come this way before. Uh, oh, maybe I have. I remember seeing this weird overhanging rock, which actually should not be like this because it would it would fall. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a rock, doesn't it? Do you? Definitely doesn't look like dirt. Oops! Look at this. Texture sticking straight through. It's just, it's in a lot of these two-dimensional textures in the game. They're only one-sided. From this side, it's clear. From this side, it's not. So that's little issues that need to be worked on. Uh, but this thing should collapse. It just should. There's no way it would stay floating like that. Um, I'll go this way. Let's see if I can get out over here. Oh, did I find this one before? No, I have not. No pearl, of course. It's not glowing. Give me a glowing pearl, man. Kaboom. I'm gonna hit ya. I'm gonna hit ya. I'm gonna hit ya hard, fish. There's a lot of beautiful views in this area if you ignore the issues that are going on uh, like a texture right there totally cut off <laughs> that's a little strand and you noticed that before when they were painting that in whatever program they used and they just snipped it off and you know, cropped it off and actually they're all showing that that should not look like that. And they're supposed to be in a white. Over to the... Oh, and there's another bar problem. It's associated with the chat bar for some strange problem. Attic issue. 
What is that on the ocean surface? What am I on ocean surface? The water surface. What am I seeing? Hmm. There's an image they're using. Oh, the, here's the tilapia. They're the oddest looking fish in the game. They're too cartoony for one. They move like robots and they don't move around at all. I mean, don't, don't take my criticism wrong. I love this game. Even though, even with its problems, and I know all of the issues that are happening in this level particularly will be remedied in the eventual future. But uh, the fish are really screwed up looking right now. And here's one of our resident crocodiles. Floating through a piece of plant. Because none of the plants in the game and pieces of wood and such have any physicality to them. So any creature or fish can go right through them. Yes, hello. He's like, hey, what's going on, man? I'm just uh, chilling here. Yeah. Let me look in your mouth. Oh, you're going to go that way, huh? Okay. I did find a funny little thing. Watch, I can push him into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's now in the ground. He'll come out in a minute. You can see his tail there. Ah, uh, you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> He's now a ground gator. Heck, a ground croc. Keep on to call gators. We have gators here in the south, but... Uh, let's see. Actually, I need to go this way. This should take me to the big lake, I believe. Now, one of the great mechanics that they have done with the upgrade... And it's also available in some Nautica as well, but not as cool looking as this, is being able to walk out of the water. Uh, it looks so much... They did a, that, a really great job on the walking mechanics. Compared to everything else in the game. See here, watch, I can go right through this. Whoosh. See, there's no physicality to any of the objects in the game right now. And that, that goes for all the levels, not just in here. I believe this is the entrance. Yes, it is! Alright. Normally, I just... At the start of the level, I just walk over the land over, and then jump in the water here, but... That's the other way into the big lake. This is the zone where you find your daily mission. Every level has one. And it allows you to get your points and coins and things like that. Daily missions give you points. Here's a catfish. Another robot. Who's too shiny. I mean, you could say he's got mucus, a mucus layer on him, but uh, he's way too shiny looking. Here's the helicopter. Now, the one problem with the daily mission here in the Big Lake is that it's hidden on this side of the copter, and you start way over there. And you can't see it when you jump in the water. It's hidden by the carcass of this helicopter. The bulk of its body just blocks the light. Ooh, look. What the hell? <laughs> hey, get out of here. I can't move him like a can of Subnautica. There he goes. Now he's free. Oh, I got a floating piece of wood here. Yeah, as wood floats, but not in that way. Uh, before I do the daily mission, I'll show you the helicopter. I love the texture on it. It looks great. You know, the rust and the mold, the algae covering. But the interior is too new looking. And it should look as bad as the exterior. And something I found really odd is, considering the shape it's in, how old it looks... Check this out. Why does the dashboard have power? <laughs> Look, they're lit up, indicating there's power to the dashboard. That should not be. This thing would be dead. A coin? Oh my gosh, my first coin. I've never even looked for them in here because I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. It's such a huge area. Now, if they relocated the coins just to the lake here, okay, that I can understand. And I hope they did, because if you try to find them in the river, it's going to be, huh, forget it. 
But let's do the daily mission, see if I can find it this time. Uh-oh, maybe not. Looks like it's in a spot where I had an error. No, it's in a different location this time. I was in here a little while ago doing a duck. I got a duck one. I could not find it. For some reason, it did not appear. Jesus, that thing. Look at this. It keeps popping them up. Floating rocks. I see floating rocks. The last time I was in here, there was a, it said there was a duck right over there in that little area. I looked everywhere with the camera, and it did not show. Okay, this one is on the other side of this mound. I can stay over here and sh keep the bubble visible so I can see it. Yeah, okay, I should be able to find this one at least. Looks like a brawny cola. It's got a little brawny on it. For Sergeant Brawny, who helped design his wreck. The HMS Tranquility. Boy, this guy is far over here. And down a little drop here, which I've never seen before, I don't think. Where is it? Uh-oh, it's being guarded by a crocodile! Alright, i got to pull the camera because I can't see it. Okay. Don't tell me this one's hidden under the ground, too. Are you kidding me? Okay. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to make this one either. Okay, this is the second time I've been I've tried to find one of these and it's been hidden under the ground. So that's that's just messed up. <laughs> here's all Here's one of the floating plants. Don't look right. See, you can see right through the bottom. Oh, they're supposed to be rooted. I mean, you could say, sure, they broke free from the ground, they floated up, but if that's the case, then you should not see an open, textured bottom right there like that. So, that's the second time I've been in here, and I cannot do the daily mission because it's messed up. Actually, I take that back. I think that color box you see is associated with the thrust on the scooter because it keeps popping up while I'm moving around. Hello, Mr. Crocodile. Enjoying yourself? I'm going to push you right into that piece of wood. There he goes. <laughs> well, being that, being that I'm over here, let's see if I can find a way out. I can come over here. I'll walk on land and show you that mechanic, since that is one of the things I want to do. I'm still trying to figure out what's on the ocean surface there, the water surface there. See that? There's a strange picture that they've put on it. I've seen this before in another level of Lockheed. There's dark blue, aquamarine, there's some white, some green, but it has no association with, with what's under the water or above. So it's, a, it's some some odd picture that they put on the surface. That shouldn't be there. Is this the house? I think. I, yep, there's the dock. Okay, I can crawl. I can walk out right here. Going out. Do 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 do, and I'm out. Yeah. And you let go of your your controller. If you emerge from the water with your scooter, it disappears and you're left doing this with the trigger button. <laughs> it happens every time. But look at the shadow. The shadow is beautiful. And being in the, the walking, you look down at your body and see everything. Everything on your on your character and the feet. And I mean, this is just, what the? A coin! <gasps> they put coins on the land? I would never even have thought to find them up here. Okay, so that's going to make it even harder to find them. Jeez, there's only 20 of them, too. So you can pull out your metal detector and see if there's any around, but of course there's none. Oh, cool shadow. 
But the the walking mechanic in the design here is just stunning. It's way better looking than Subnautica, and I have I'm not blasting them. I'm, I love that game. Now I like this game too, but it'll look a hundred times better once they get all the bugs and make it look as good as Subnautica. Notice my dive computer on my left leg. Oh look, if I just hold gently hold down the analog stick, I, I slide. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's magic. I'm just sliding on the ground. Technically, that's what your character is doing. He's just sliding. He's not actually walking. But uh, his dive computer keeps clipping into his leg. Of course, that's a long-standing bug. It's not, it's not new. Another thing you notice is, other than my talking, it's just so freaking quiet up here. This is the Nile. This is this place would be teeming with vocal sounds, birds, uh, land animals, all type of things. I mean, you'd hear them from the distance and up close in the bushes everywhere. It's too quiet. <laughs> you need to have some life, some vocalizations going on. And I believe they said they were going to have some land animals in the near future, you know, walking around. Hopefully coming up to the water and drinking and then heading back into the bush. Some elephants and rhinos and things like that would be great. Boy, that is way too pointy. Needs to be shaved off. Somebody said there was supposed to be a puma in this area. But I don't see why. Are pumas supposed to be from South America? They wouldn't be here. Don't quote me on that, but if I'm right, tell me. Now, that's basically it. I mean, this this river that is very long, both ways. Uh, you go, you can go that way for a good distance, and then go that way for a long distance. And it just goes to a point and then says, "You're leaving the swimming area. Please turn back." And geez, what it what it really should have done, what they should have done is do a loop. Since it's so long, loop one end all the way around and come back to the end of the other one. So you can just continue. You can just continue around all the way. So, I mean, this is a game. It's not like it matters. I mean, I like realism, and I want, and that's what I strive to see in this game is realism, because this is a diving simulator. But in a case like this, where you have a super long river, connect the ends, so you, you don't come to one end and have to backtrack all the way. It's such a long distance to swim. So that's basically it for the new area, for this area itself and how it looks. And lastly, I'd like to show you, and lastly, I'd like to show you the Oceanopedia, which is now available in all the levels, not just Okavango. The, this is an encyclopedia of all the different fauna, flora, and dive sites. Right now it's just the fauna. And when you go inside you get to see all the different aquatic life that is in the game. Which is, there's not a lot, but... This is a, a, a shortened take on the encyclopedia from Endless Ocean Blue World, the Wii game that the developers really love to play and use as a slight basis for their game. Because uh, this is the game, that game is what gave this idea to them. And what you can do is you go through and you look at something, say, like the butterfly fish. And it shows you the animation, which is really cool. And the butterfly fish has been around for a while. So it has really excellent dynamics to it when you look at it. And you can spin it around, look at it from different different angles. And you can see it shows you the different stats for it. If you click on more, it takes you to the first picture that you took of that fish to go into the encyclopedia. But you notice down below it says replace it by making an even better one. Well, you can't. I've tried. It only keeps the first picture that you've taken. The next page in the last one shows you all the information about that particular species of aquatic animal. If you use, in this case, if you use your uh, left analog stick on the Xbox controller, you can scroll down and see the different information about it. 
and each one of the fish and animals have their own little stat screens. But there's some new ones, and there's some issues too, like this one here I've highlighted. This is a silver blue fish over in the Yungala area. I've tried and tried and tried and cannot get a picture of them. It's a, it's a glitch. And this down here is clearly a jellyfish that's coming to the game soon. So they're going to actually beat some Nautica, because Sub does not have any jellyfish right now. And this one I have highlighted, that's the tigerfish. Can't get it. Or the horse, the seahorses from the brawny level. Or this one here, which is the catfish from this level. Uh, there's bugs for all three, all of those. These two right here are in the level, one of the levels too. But I don't know what they are, and I can't get pictures of them, whatever they are. I'm really intrigued by this, though. We have an orca and a sperm whale. I wonder what level they're going to be in. I think here's the stingray. Here's the stingray. The stingray. I don't know why I'm saying stingray. <laughs> but that's it for the, the new level. So I'll see you in the next video I do. Whatever it might be. Take care.